Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a great day. All right, you wanna know what the problem is with football? It's only big in the United States. You look at every other sport, baseball, basketball, soccer, all of those sports are popular worldwide, whereas football is only popular in the United States. However, things are starting to change. As we all know, there's the CFL, which is the Canadian Football League, but there's also high schoolers and colleges in Canada that are starting to put up some pretty nice talent, as well as some pretty fast talent. Today's player runs a 4-3-4-40. Now that's pretty fast. So today we're going to be looking at Canada's number one recruit, Frederick Antoine. This dude is a wide receiver and right now, even though he's the number one recruit in Canada, he's only fielded offers from Ohio and Buffalo. Now yes, I would be a little bit hesitant if I was a division one coach just because the skill gap from Canada to the United States is so large. But I mean, a dude that runs 4-3, I mean, at wide receiver, basically, if you can just find a fast guy that has some hands, you can mold him into a pretty good wide receiver. All right, but let's see if Frederick has what it takes to make it in the division one college football world let's get right into this video three two one Psh. all right so let's see what canada's best has to offer let's go i want to see this 4-3 speed i want i want to see him just dip out on every oh yeah okay okay i see you yo so when when you're evaluating players from you you like to see the pull away speed that's something you definitely like to see but when you're evaluating players from either like not as competitive conferences or out of the country or things like that you need to look for intangibles of okay if he was playing against a normal a normal college or a normal high school in the united states would he be able to do the same thing and and honestly him breaking tackles him obviously he's got the speed to play at to play at the division one level so you just want to you just want to see his fundamentals like how he catches the ball how he runs routes like things like that okay where did, where did he get behind the where did he get behind the coverage Ooh, give me where to go up top for that Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Another thing you like to see, a wide receiver blocking. Get off of me. I was about to say, there's no way he breaks out of all of that. I mean, they're using him like how any how any other college would. I mean, he's being used as a, basically an athlete. That's that's what he is. He's fast and he can catch the pass. He could run it a little bit. So hey, I think Buffalo. Whether he goes to Buffalo or um, Ohio, I mean, I th those two schools aren't the biggest schools. But I mean, you gotta remember, Khalil Mack came from Buffalo, so any anyone can make it to the pros. I mean, heck, the Vikings drafted that one dude from Germany, like, uh, more, I forget his, I forget his name, but dude was, dude was just like a physical freak. He was like basically Calvin Johnson, <laughs> as far as like his measurables, not his actual play style, just his measurables. Okay, the patience, knowing when to, when to explode. Yeah, like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, you have to be so much better just to even get noticed at the next level. I mean, this dude's 6'1", 200 pounds, so I mean, like, he's 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 got everything that he needs to be able to be a dominant Division One wide receiver. It's just if a school will give him will give him a chance. That's all it really is. I mean, 
Tom, be honest with me. If there was a wide receiver, six foot one, 200 pounds, running a 4'3 in high school, tell me he would not be at least, at very least, a four star, a four star recruit. Tell me that he wouldn't be a four star recruit. Like, it's, it's just because people don't know the level of talent that's out there in Canada, so they can't really measure up how well he's playing. So, I mean, heck, I would give them, I would give him a chance. I mean, he gives you return game, a little bit of running back. He gives you, obviously, wide receiver play. He can play outside, inside. I mean, he's, he can block. Like, wow. What was that defensive coverage? Oh, just trust your speed. Just, or juke him out. <laughs> Yeah, no, once he hits that edge, he's just gone. There you go, way to get your block, okay? When he locks on, he locks on to that block. He's he's not letting he's not letting up. Locked onto his block? Not giving up. He he's out there giving him Yo, okay. We, we might have a complete wide receiver out here. I like how they give him the ball in open space and just let him work. Yeah, keep on cutting, keep on cutting back to the other side. <laughs> Ran him over. Get out of here. You're light. I'm trying to get to college. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna stop me. Sit out. He's just running through people. I like this kid's game. I like it a lot. And that's coming from a wide receiver. Like, I, I know how the position is supposed to be played. I mean, he can run his routes a little bit cleaner. That's, like, the only thing I would really have against him. But, I mean, I don't know what the Canadian route tree is looking like as compared to, like, an American route tree. But, obviously, that's just, that's just easy. That's just footwork and knowing the routes. That's all it really is. Because right now, he's just, he's just using his speed to get separation, but at the next level, everyone's fast. So you need to be able to use technique and act like precise route running to get your separation. He's not afraid of contact at all. They love, ooh, okay, where to get that one-handed? They love doing that little, where he motions to the other side and they just hit him with a little quick screen, or not a quick screen, a quick uh, wheel route. Ooh, where to cut up, where to cut up field? Oh, just, he's just dropping his shoulder on these kids. Yeah, I hope, I hope that other colleges give this kid a chance and start offering him, cause I mean, He's got talent. Like, you cannot deny his talent. And you know, I took, I took a chance on a kid that I don't know the level of competition that he's playing at, but I can see he's balling out on him. Because, I mean, there's been plenty of only fast wide receivers that have gone D1. Like, all they are is fast. That, that's it. And they've gone to much bigger schools. Direct snap? Okay. Make something happen. Sauce on him. Does he end up making the play on here? 
we got a special teams player too yo so colleges you're getting a wide receiver a part-time not a solely running back but like you could use him in the backfield on certain plays you got someone who could you could put okay way to get the ball out someone you could put on kickoff as well as a kickoff returner like this dude can do it all all right guys so obviously canada's got some pretty nice talent i genuinely hope that frederick antoine starts getting some bigger offers because I, I think that this kid could actually do something big at the next level all right but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave this video a like yo can we get this video to like 400 likes because that lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos also don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see because that's how i know you guys want me to watch so we can help this channel grow and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that i am coming out oh hey with ya all right but with that all being said hope that you guys all have a great 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 rest of your day and i will catch you guys in the next video Ciao.